Hi, welcome to Wooden Stuff Workshop. We got the wall done, so now it's time to get this uh, log burner installed. Let's see how we go. So this is the log stove that I found that somebody was chucking out. It was at the side of the road. The reason why they were chucking it out is, if you can see on there, look, there's a hairline crack on there. I've drilled that out at the end so that the crack doesn't follow on but then I put a little bolt in there but what I'm going to do is grind that out and I've got some extreme JB weld that I'm going to put in there so what came with it I've got this so I assume that went on there to take that up a bit further and obviously this is the real, uh, this is real flu stuff. Well what I'm going to be doing, because I'm cheap, is using this uh, galvanised parts like this. And I know that there'll be people now going, you can't use galvanised stuff, not on the heat of that, because of the gases. What I'm going to do, is I've got that. So this is all just, this is only like ducting. So that's going to be going through the wall. This is going to be joined, going out the out there. Through there, we've got to cut the pipe and make that suit, and then back up again. And the idea is, I don't know how easy this is going to be, or how hard it's going to be, but join all them, cement them together, and then hopefully put the sleeve, the other stuff that I've got, that uh, sleeve in. Let me just stick my out. Because there's just a little bit. There. So that sleeve is going to go over the top of this and then go down to here. And I was hoping to use the fireproof rope stuff round there to seal it. And the idea is that if this gives off any sort of fumes as it's burning away, it'll go up through the inside of this and the other piece of that sleeve in and out the door. That's the plan. Just keep doing a bit of this at a time. Let me show you where I'm at. I don't think they've got any chance of uh, getting the long piece of that around these bends. So, I don't know. I think I'm going to have to try. You, I don't want to do this, but use this short, shorter piece and then jo try and join up the sleeve in on the outside. Don't know if that's possible, but that's the inside lot. So, that goes over through the inside I'll show you I've got to pull it all apart again like I say don't do what I'm doing because uh, as you might tell I'm I haven't really got a clue so I recommend if you're doing it that you use all the good stuff you know the real stuff so this is fire cement that we've got here. Got some rope for stoves for round the doors here. I didn't buy it for round the doors, but bought it for this. I wanted to see if I could use it for sealing round here. Uh, round here when I pull the other sleeve over. There we go. So yeah, all that's to do is to give uh, more of a little like channel for the uh, JB weld to go into. 
So I'll just seal all the joints of the flu. Uh, the flu. Workshop's a right mess, look. I've made this, which is just a bit of galvanised metal. It's only rough because it's going to be stuck right up in there. So I'm making a cap or a cowl or whatever that goes up on the top. And I've got some pieces there to fit to it. So the idea here is to make a cowl to keep the rain out, out the top of there. I think it's called a cowl or a cap or whatever. So I've got to make come up with something. Like I say, I made this uh, a few days ago. It's just a flat piece of galvanised uh, steel. I made it just a little bit smaller than the size of a dustbin lid, and then roughly cut it out with some tin snips. Did a cut to the middle of the circle, and then just pulled it round. And once you pull it one piece past the other, it automatically makes a cone shape. And then I held it there while I drilled through and got a, a rivet through there and then just riveted along there. I made this strap as well out of some, I don't know what it is, it's some kind of thin tin or something. Leaves a gap like that, but that's all it is, is to clamp on there. So if I've got, if I've got a bolt, long enough to go through there it'll still work it'll still bolt onto there because i'm wondering whether i can rivet these onto the sides of here around like that these will have a bend at the top going into there and they'll be riveted so it'll be obviously that'll be right further down It's fitted to the clamp I've made. So this is on a wing nut. I can just move this up or down so I can make the gap less here. And this is going to sit on there. And I'm going to drill through and rivet them in place now. So the throat plate, that's in uh, pretty good condition. So this is the back, but as you can see, there is a crack. So you can see it there. Goes down to about there. So there's a crack there, so we'll sort that out. In the back of that. 
Actually, there's another massive one going right, right across there. Left side, that's got a bit of a crack. Just there, to about there. So uh, we need to sort them out. Because these are inside, don't have to be pretty. I'm leave it, uh, letting it stick up a bit proud to give a bit of thickness to uh, to the layer I'm putting in. Trying to push it into the crack. Right, back again. So it's been uh, 24 hours since we put the JB weld on. So let's get the fire going. So hopefully there's some heat building up now, hopefully. That's starting to get some heat on now. So that's it for this video. Thanks a lot for watching. If you liked it, if you can give us a thumbs up, that would be great. And if you haven't already subscribed, please consider subscribing. And uh, I'll see you next time in the workshop. Take care.